Hey everyone, welcome to another personal finance update video. In this special report, I've got some big news to share about an exciting new initiative from the Canada Revenue Agency CARA that is set to provide a significant financial boost to millions of Canadian retirees. Just yesterday, the CRA made a major announcement that is sure to be welcomed by seniors across the country. They will be issuing a one-time $600 bonus payment to all Canadians currently receiving the Canada Pension Plan CPP and Old Age Security OAS benefits. This extra $600 is scheduled to be deposited directly into the bank accounts of eligible pensioners on August 9, 2024. This is a really important development, so in this video I'm going to break down all the key details you need to know. I'll explain who exactly qualifies for this $600 CARA bonus, how the payment process will work, and most importantly, the impact this extra money can have for Canadian retirees dealing with high inflation and the rising cost of living. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete understanding of the CARA's $600 pensioner bonus program and what it means for you or your loved ones who are currently receiving CPP and OS benefits. So let's dive right in. As I mentioned, the Canada Revenue Agency made this significant announcement just yesterday, on August 8, 2024. In a press conference, CARA Justin Trudeau provided details on this new $600 bonus initiative. Justin Trudeau began by acknowledging the financial challenges that many Canadian seniors have been facing over the past year due to the high rates of inflation. She noted that the cost of living, including essentials like food, housing, and healthcare, has been rising at the fastest pace in decades, putting immense strain on the budgets of retirees living on fixed incomes. Our government recognizes the real burden that soaring inflation has placed on Canadian pensioners, said Justin Trudeau. Seniors who have worked hard their entire lives and are now relying on their CPPP and OIS benefits to make ends meet are being squeezed, and this is simply unacceptable. She went on to explain that the primary goal of this new $600 bonus is to provide direct, immediate financial relief to help offset the rising costs that seniors are facing. We want to get money into the hands of pensioners as quickly as possible so they can use it to cover essential expenses and maintain their quality of life, added Justin Trudeau. The CRI estimates that this one-time $600 payment will benefit approximately 6.5 million Canadians who are currently receiving the Canada Pension Plan and Old Age Security benefits. In total, the CRI A has budgeted around $3.9 billion to fund this initiative. Justin Trudeau emphasized that the $600 bonus is separate from and in addition to the regular monthly CPP and OIS payments that pensioners receive. This is truly extra money that seniors can use however they need, whether that's stocking up on groceries, paying utility bills, or covering medical costs. Our hope is that this $600 will provide a meaningful boost to help Canada's retirees weather the current economic storm. Now, let's take a closer look at the eligibility criteria and payment process for this new $600 CRA bonus for pensioners. Eligibility is quite straightforward. In order to qualify, you must currently be receiving the Canada Pension Plan CPP and or old age security OAS benefits from the federal government. If you are enrolled in one or both of these federal pension programs as of August 9, 2024, you will automatically receive the $600 bonus payment. There is no need to apply or submit any additional paperwork to the CARA. The $600 will be deposited directly into the same bank account where your regular monthly CPP and or OS payments are issued. The CARA has confirmed that the one-time $600 bonus will be tax-free and will not count as taxable income. This means the full $600 amount will go directly into the pockets of eligible pensioners without any deductions. Justin Trudeau stressed the importance of the CARA being able to quickly and efficiently deliver this financial support to seniors. We understand that every dollar counts for Canadian retirees struggling with high costs, so we've designed this program to get the $600 bonus payments out the door as fast as possible, without any red tape or administrative hurdles for pensioners to jump through. She also noted that the KRA will be conducting a broad public awareness campaign in the lead-up to August 9th to ensure all eligible Canadians are aware of the $600 bonus and can expect to receive it. This will include digital ads, mail-outs to pension recipients, and information posted on the KRA's website and social media channels. Our goal is to make sure no one who qualifies for this $600 payment misses out, said Justin Trudeau. We want to get the word out far and wide so that every single senior enrolled in the CPP and or OS programs can plan accordingly and budget for that extra money coming their way. Now that we've covered the key details around eligibility and the payment process, 
Let's talk about the real-world impact that this $600 crop bonus can have for Canadian pensioners. As I mentioned earlier, seniors living on fixed incomes have been hit especially hard by the high rates of inflation over the past year. Essential expenses like groceries, utilities, and healthcare have all skyrocketed, putting immense strain on retirement budgets. Recent data shows that the average Canadian pensioner receiving both the maximum CPP and OS benefits has seen their monthly income rise by just 3.2% over the past 12 months. Meanwhile, the overall cost of living, as measured by the Consumer Price Index CPI, has increased by 6.9% during that same period. In other words, the purchasing power of seniors' pension checks has effectively been eroded by nearly 4% due to rampant inflation. This means retirees are having to make tough choices and sacrifices in order to afford the basics. Financial experts have warned that many Canadian pensioners are being forced to dip into their limited retirement savings, take on debt, or even skip essential expenses just to get by. This is obviously an incredibly concerning and unsustainable situation. This is where the CARA's new $600 bonus can make a meaningful difference. An extra $600 in the hands of eligible pensioners represents a significant financial boost that can provide crucial relief. Let's break down the potential impact of that $600 for the average Canadian retiree. The average monthly CPP benefit is currently around $760, while the average monthly OAS payment is $615. So a senior receiving both the maximum CPP and OAS would have a combined monthly pension income of roughly $1,375. An extra $600 on top of that monthly $1,375 represents a 43% increase in their monthly cash flow. That's a huge difference maker when you're trying to keep up with soaring costs for food, housing, utilities, and healthcare. Over the course of a year, that $600 bonus equates to an extra $7,200 in annual income for eligible pensioners. This can go a long way towards covering essential expenses and preserving seniors' quality of life. Financial planners I've spoken to say that, for many Canadian retirees, this $600 CRA bonus could mean the difference between having to draw down their retirement savings versus being able to maintain their nest egg. It may prevent seniors from having to take on debt or make difficult trade-offs between necessities. Justin Trudeau emphasized that the goal of this initiative is to provide direct, immediate relief to help seniors weather the current economic storm. We know that every dollar counts for Canada's pensioners right now. This $600 bonus is our way of stepping up to support older Canadians who have contributed so much to our society and economy over their lifetimes. In addition to the direct positive impact this $600 CRA bonus will have on the financial security and quality of life for millions of Canadian retirees, there is also a broader macroeconomic benefit that's worth highlighting. By injecting approximately $3.9 billion in additional purchasing power directly into the hands of seniors, this initiative is expected to provide a significant boost to the Canadian economy as a whole. Economists I've spoken with project that the vast majority of this $600 bonus money will be quickly cycled back into the economy through increased consumer spending by pensioners. Retirees tend to have a higher marginal propensity to consume compared to other demographics, meaning they are more likely to spend rather than save any extra disposable income they receive. The types of purchases that seniors are likely to make with their $600 bonus things like groceries, utilities, healthcare services, and other essential goods and services are also typically more labor-intensive sectors of the economy. This means the economic multiplier effect of this injection of cash will be magnified as it ripples through the supply chain and creates jobs. In fact, economists estimate that every $1 of the $600 crowd bonus spent by pensioners could generate up to $1.50 in total economic activity. That means the $3.9 billion in total bonus payments could end up stimulating close to $6 billion worth of GDP growth. Additionally, increased consumer spending by seniors will generate additional tax revenue for all levels of government through sales taxes, income taxes, and other levies. This provides further fiscal benefits that can help fund critical public services and infrastructure. Justin Trudeau highlighted this broader economic upside as another key rationale behind the CARA's $600 bonus program. Not only will this extra money directly improve the financial security of millions of Canadian pensioners, but it will also provide an important boost to our overall economic recovery and resilience in the face of high inflation. She went on to say, Our government is committed to supporting the well-being of our seniors. But we also recognize that investing in the purchasing power of retirees has ripple effects that benefit the entire country. 
This $600 bonus is a win-win that helps individual pensioners while also strengthening the health of the Canadian economy. It's worth putting this new $600 CARA bonus for pensioners into context by comparing it to other recent policy changes and enhancements to Canada's public pension system. Over the past decade, we've seen a number of initiatives from the federal government aimed at bolstering the financial security of Canadian retirees, including in 2016, the age of eligibility for old age security OA's benefits was rolled back from 67 to 65 years old. This made it easier for Canadians to access their OAS pension at an earlier age. In 2019, the maximum monthly OAS payment was increased by 10%, representing an extra $73 per month for seniors receiving the full benefit. Starting in 2020, the Canada Pension Plan CPP began gradually increasing its maximum monthly benefit from around $1,150 to $1,253 by 2025. This helps keep pace with inflation and rising costs of living. In 2022, the federal government introduced a new Canada Disability Benefit that provides an additional $600 per month for low-income seniors with severe and prolonged disabilities. However, the QRA's new $601 time bonus stands out as one of the most significant and impactful pension-related initiatives in recent memory. The scale of this program, with nearly $4 billion being distributed to over 6.5 million Canadian pensioners, is unprecedented. Financial experts I've spoken with say that this $600 bonus is comparable in magnitude to the enhanced monthly OAAs and CPP benefits that have been phased in over the past decade. The key difference is that this is a lump sum, immediate injection of cash rather than incremental increases to ongoing pension payments. The $600 CARA bonus represents a very meaningful, tangible boost to the financial well-being of Canadian retirees struggling with high inflation, said pension policy analyst Emily Huang. Whereas the gradual OAAs and CPP enhancements have helped to slowly improve the adequacy of public pensions over time, this one-time $600 payment can have an almost instantaneous impact on seniors' ability to cover essential expenses right now. Wang added that the tax-free nature of the $600 bonus is also a significant advantage, as it ensures the full amount goes directly into the pockets of eligible pensioners without any deductions. Overall, financial experts agree that the KRA's $600 bonus, when combined with the other pension enhancements we've seen in recent years, represents an important and comprehensive set of policies to strengthen the retirement income security of Canadians. Of course, no major government initiative is without its critics, and I'm sure the KRA's $600 bonus for pensioners will face some pushback and debate as well. One potential line of criticism could be around the cost and fiscal implications of this program. With a $3.9 billion price tag, there will likely be questions raised about whether this is the best use of taxpayer dollars, especially given the already elevated federal budget deficits and debt levels. Opponents may argue that the government should be focused on reining in spending and balancing the books rather than doling out large sums of cash. There could be concerns that this type of direct income support for retirees is an unsustainable approach that will become increasingly difficult to maintain over the long term. However, proponents of the $600 crawl bonus would likely counter that the economic and social benefits of supporting the financial security of Canadian seniors far outweigh the relatively modest fiscal costs. They'd point to the stimulative impact on consumer spending and the overall economy, as well as the avoidance of potentially much higher health and social service costs if retirees are forced into financial distress. Additionally, with the CARA already administering the CPP and OS programs, the infrastructure is already in place to efficiently distribute these one-time bonus payments. This makes the program a relatively low-cost and streamlined way to provide aid. Another potential criticism could come from those who argue that the $600 bonus is too narrowly targeted and that the government should be pursuing broader-based inflation relief measures that benefit all Canadians, not just retirees. There may be calls for across-the-board tax cuts, increases to other social assistance programs or even direct cash transfers to the general population rather than a pension-specific initiative. The argument would be that the economic and fiscal challenges posed by high inflation are not unique to seniors, so the policy response should be more universal in nature. However, defenders of the CARA's $600 bonus would likely counter that pensioners are among the most vulnerable segments of the population to the ravages of inflation. They'd point out that retirees on fixed incomes have the least ability to offset rising costs through measures like wage increases or career advancement. Additionally, they'd highlight how this targeted approach ensures the financial support is going directly to those who need it most seniors, 
who are struggling to make ends meet due to the current economic conditions. Retirees tend to have less flexibility in their budgets compared to working age adults. Ultimately, while there may be some critics and opposing viewpoints, the consensus among experts seems to be that the CRA's $600 bonus for Canadian pensioners is a well-designed, impactful, and much-needed initiative to support the financial security of our nation's retirees. In conclusion, the big news here is that the Canada Revenue Agency has just announced a brand new $600 bonus payment for all Canadians receiving the Canada Pension Plan CPP and or Old Age Security OAS benefits. This one-time extra payment is scheduled to be deposited directly into the bank accounts of eligible pensioners on August 9, 2024. Eligibility is straightforward if you're currently enrolled in the federal CPP and or OS programs, you'll automatically receive the $600 with no additional steps required. For the average Canadian retiree receiving both maximum CPP and OAS benefits, this $600 bonus represents a significant 43% increase in their monthly cash flow. Over the course of a year, it's the equivalent of an extra $7,200 in annual income. Financial experts agree that this money can make a real difference in helping seniors cope with the high inflation and rising costs of living they've been grappling with. It may prevent them from having to dip into limited retirement savings, take on debt, or make difficult trade-offs between essential expenses. Beyond just the direct benefits to individual pensioners, the KRA's $600 bonus is also expected to provide a meaningful boost to the broader Canadian economy. By injecting nearly $4 billion in additional spending power, it's projected to stimulate around $6 billion in total GDP growth through the economic multiplier effect. So, in summary, this is a major new initiative from the Canada Revenue Agency that is sure to be welcomed by millions of Canadian retirees dealing with the financial pressures of high inflation. Mark your calendars for August 9, 2024, that's when you can expect to see that extra $600 hit your bank account if you qualify for the CPP and or OS pension benefits. Let me know if you have any other questions about this CRI $600 bonus